Hey, welcome to Fire and Froth. And right now we're on location in my basement brewery uh, where we'll be talking today about the Munich Hellas. Uh, actually, part two of our Grain to Glass series where we explored brewing this delightful beer. And uh, today we will talk about the style and, uh, and then we will actually taste the finished product and let you know how it turned out. So check it out. Hey, welcome to Fire and Froth. Yeah, we're the channel that uh, explores craft beer and culinary delights. In other words, we make videos about beer we make videos about cooking food and we put them out usually on a weekly basis. So come join the adventure. Today we're going to show you and we're gonna taste the Munich Hellas Lager that I brewed a while back. Uh, a few weeks ago we posted uh, part one of the grain to glass video and we promised that we would put out a part two as soon as that lager was ready to go and I think it's ready. Hey, so anyway, we're, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the, the uh, Munich Hellas and what it should taste like and uh, what, it, what the style is. It's a, uh, it's a light German lager. Uh, it's a little bit malty, um, you know, a little bit of sweetness from that. Uh, it's pretty um, hop-wise, it's not hot very hard just enough just to balance out the, the sweetness uh, from the uh, from the malt and uh, and it's just I mean all in all just a really nice style of beer in fact I've, I've heard that it's the most consumed beer uh, during Oktoberfest and we'll see this next year if uh, if that continues okay so I just poured myself a glass and I'll, I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to dive in and try this. It, man, it just smells so good. Uh, it's, uh, again, pretty, pretty light in color. Uh, you can't quite tell because this room's uh, kind of dark in here. Let me, let me see. Eh, that doesn't even really work. But uh, anyway, let's, let's give it a try. Oh man, that's really good. It's, uh, it, is, it is pretty dry. Uh, there's a little bit of residual sweetness from the uh, from the malt, but the I mean, really nice balance with the hops. So uh, I don't know. I think I could I could probably drink this one by the liter, and you probably could too. Hmm. Man, delicious. Ooh, perhaps a little bit green. Uh, it could probably do for another. You know, another couple weeks of lagering, but uh, I don't think this one's going to last very long. I know it's been a hit in the past, and uh, my friends love it, my wife loves it, and uh, unfortunately, I brewed two kegs of it, so it'll be it'll be good to have around. No, I'm not a beer judge, but I do know good beer, and this is a good beer. Uh, I. Brewed this in uh, competitions in the past and uh, scored really well. I've won a few. I won my region in the um, national homebrew competition with this beer, and uh, we'll see how I do this year. I look forward to entering it and uh, hope I do well. If you enjoyed that video or uh, got anything out of it, please consider subscribing and uh, let us know what what kind of beer you want to see us brew next time. And uh, you, you might be able to hear it in the background, in the audio, 
Uh, but I've got I've got a blonde lager that's fermenting away right now. Uh, I used all German ingredients. It should be it should be pretty good. I brewed it again. I brewed it in the past. Uh, the recipe spot on. And we will be releasing that as a grain to glass video soon. Uh, well, I'm gonna wait until it's done, until it's ready to package, and uh, and then when it's ready to consume, and then we'll we'll release that video. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, check back next week and we'll have another exciting episode for you, either about brewing beer or cooking great food. All right, be well, cheers. Yeah.